Question 4. So this question mostly is for the allele, correct? Okay, so this is the structure. Uh, give the systematic name of this allele, correct? Uh, so first we need to identify uh, which one is the first carbon. So this is the first carbon, second carbon, and the last carbon. And the chlorine bonded to the third carbon, so it's three chloro. And the carbon main chain is three carbon here, so it's prop one in. So full name is 3 coral prop 1 in. Okay, so for part B, a real chloride can be produced by many methods. Okay, the most common method is chlorination of propene. So means propene, we use chlorine with UV, then uh, one of the hydrogens here will be substituted by the chlorine to form this. Okay, B1, the initiation step um, in this reaction is the formation of chlorine radicals. Okay, state the conditions required. Very easy. Just put UV or sometimes sunlight. The radicals, okay, these radicals will form CH2CHCH2. Right? So this dot is the unpaired electron. For the first propagation step, Write the equation to show the formations of this radical in the propagation step. Okay, propagation step, uh, you need to use the chlorine radicals that form from initiation. Okay, so the chlorine radical will approach this propene, and if you try to get one hydrogen from any of this carbon, okay, let's say the hydrogens from this carbon, one of the hydrogen will form bonding with this radical and it will form HCl and therefore it will form CH2, CH, CH2 okay, with the dot, this one is unpaired electron okay, part 3 Explain why the free radical substitutions reactions give a low yield of this real correct. Uh, because uh, we need to understand the chlorine radicals, sometimes it will not just target uh, this hydrogen, it can actually target other hydrogen or it can further substitute this hydrogen. Means uh, the allyl chloride will not be the only product. So that's why it says that it's uncontrolled. It cannot be controlled because it's random and it's from many products. Okay, part four. A real chloride can also form by the following substitution reaction. Okay, so we use this one, this compound with the OH, then it's from the allyl chloride we want. Okay, this one obviously is a substitution that use the compounds. So we can use PCL5 normal temperature SOCl2 okay PCl3 okay with heat or we can use this NaCl with concentrated H2SO4 because this one will form HCl right so therefore the OH will be substituted by the chlorine C a series of reactions starting from this area correct okay so now reaction one uh, for reaction 1, we know that the <coughs> CC double bonds uh, is going to uh, open up and it's from diode okay, because uh, there is an oxidation. Right. So after that, this diode, this alcohol, uh, we can clearly see, see that after reaction 2 is from ester, these ester groups. And this one is from the, uh, the carboxylic acid. So we know that the carboxylic acid that used must be a two carbon carboxylic acid. So it means uh, it's a uh, ethanoic acid. Okay, after that, reaction three, we see that it's just this chlorine gets substituted and it's from this nitro. Okay, so we know that this is a substitution reaction and the chlorine get, gets substituted, right, by this uh, cyanide. Okay, now part one suggest a reagents that can be used in reaction one uh, reaction one 
this is the oxidation using the KMNO4, cold dilute acidified KMNO4. Okay, must be all this together. Then this CC double bond will form the diol. Okay, reaction uh, part two. In reaction two, the organic product of reaction one is mixed with concentrated H2SO4 and one organic acid and heat under reflux. The catalyst used is the H2SO4, right? So H2SO4, the role is what? Catalyst. The identity of organic acid, I told you already, is the ethanoic acid, right? So that's why it will form this ester. State the name of mechanism that occur in reaction three. So the chlorine substituted by the CN, so this is the nucleophilic substitution. Okay, this is the name of mechanism. Huh? So because of the nucleophile, okay, and it substitutes the chlorine, so this we call nucleophilic substitution. Okay, part four. The organic product of reaction three is Y. Y can be hydrolyzed okay, to form Z. Draw the structure of Z with this formula, uh, molecular formula. Very easy. This one is the Y and the ester group will undergo hydrolysis. So bond breaks here and this O will form OH, become OH. And this O also become OH back. And this C and triple bond will break and this carbon will become COOH. Of course, this nitrogen will form ammonia. Okay, then eventually it will form this structure. Okay, with o, two OH and one COOH here. Okay, part D. Two bromo one coropropane, this one, is the major product of the reaction of a real chloride with HBr. Okay, explain why this one is a major. So we need to discuss the uh, the stability of carbocation. Okay, let's say now we start from this. Uh, later we come back to this uh, explanation. Uh, for this uh, reaction, because uh, HBr added to the double bond, the hydrogen can add to this carbon or this carbon. So when the hydrogen bonded to this carbon, uh, this carbon is ha itself has two hydrogen. If the hydrogens from HBr bonded to this carbon, because this carbon has more hydrogen, so according to the Markovnikov rules, you will form a more stable carbocation. Okay, so means if this hydrogen now is moved to this carbon, so it will form this carbocation. Means this carbon now will become the okay, will get the positive charge because electron deficient. And this one is the secondary carbocation, which is more stable than the primary carbocation. Okay, compared to uh, this one, right? This primary. Okay, how to form this primary? When the H here, this one, is bonded to this carbon. If it's bonded to this carbon, uh, it will form this carbocation. Means this carbon means this one will be charged positive so this is primary carbocation is less stable so means the reactions will move or will proceed with the formation of a more stable carbocation so therefore this carbocation will form the products the major products this one okay means after the bromide attack this you form this major product. Okay, so you just explain accordingly. The major products form from the secondary carbocation, this one, which is more stable than the primary carbocation. Why? Because secondary carbocation it has more alkyl group, this one and this one. Okay, it can give a greater positive inductive effect. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.